in beautiful Ventura. Mac OS Ventura enriches so many of the ways we use our Macs. It's called Stage Manager. Let's activate Stage Manager from Control Center. As you see, it automatically arranges all my windows for me off to the side and puts the app I'm currently working with front and center. You'll notice that for an app with multiple open windows, like Pages here, Stage Manager gathers all the windows together in a single pile. When I click, I get the top one. And if I want a different window, I can cycle through them just by clicking. It's really easy to group apps together. Here, I'll drag in notes and pair it with my Pages window. And if I go back to my previous group, Stage Manager keeps my windows arranged just as I left them. With just a click on my desktop, my windows clear the stage and my files are revealed. Now, I can grab these title graphics and drag them over to my Final Cut window. I'll just drop them in right here and boom, Spotlight. This year, we have a big update that delivers a more consistent and powerful experience across our platforms. And now you can peek at a result in Quick Look with a tap on the space bar. Spotlight can now also find images from your photo library across the system and on the web. And using live text, you can search the text inside the image. You can also take actions like starting a timer or running a shortcut right from Spotlight. It's also a great way to get information, now leveraging the full window for richer results. For musicians, you'll see their albums, key facts, news, and more. It's also great for movies, TV shows and actors, businesses, and sports. Rich results and the ability to take actions right from Spotlight are also coming to iOS and iPadOS. Now, speaking of iOS, we wanted to make Spotlight even easier to discover and access, so we added it right to the bottom of the home screen. With just a tap, you can use Spotlight to launch an app, find a contact, or start a search. We're talking about mail. Undo Send lets you pull an email back a few moments after hitting Send. Scheduled Send, so your emails arrive at the perfect moment. Follow-up suggestions will automatically remind you to follow up if you haven't received a response. And Remind Me makes it easy to come back to a message at a particular date and time. Next, let's talk search. This is the biggest overhaul of search in mail we've done in years. When you click search, you'll see recently shared documents, links, and more. The moment you start typing, with each letter, you instantly see suggestions. If you make a typo, search is one step ahead, only showing results for the correct spelling. And if search knows a synonym, it'll look for that too. And all these new features are also coming to iPadOS and iOS. Safari, shared tab groups. Whether you're planning a trip with friends or shopping for a couch with your partner, you can share all the tabs in one place. And when they find something great, they can add tabs too. You can see which tabs your friends are looking at live. And using built-in collaboration, you can easily connect in real time over messages or FaceTime. It's so easy to discover the web together. We rely on passwords to protect our most private accounts. While Safari helps users create the strongest passwords possible, there are still ways accounts can be compromised. That's why we've helped create a next generation credential that's more secure, easier to use, and aims to replace passwords for good. We call them passkeys. Passkeys use powerful cryptographic techniques and the biometrics built into your device to keep accounts safe. To create a passkey, just use Touch ID or Face ID to authenticate, and you're done. When users create a passkey, a unique digital key is created that only works for the site it was created for. Passkeys can't be phished. Since the passkey never leaves your devices, hackers can't trick you into sharing it on a fake website. And passkeys can't be leaked because nothing secret is kept on a web server. We've designed passkeys to work in apps as easily as they do on the web. Passkeys are securely synced across Apple devices using iCloud Keychain and are instantly available on Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV. With a passkey, you'll be able to walk up to a non-Apple device and sign into a website or app using just your iPhone. The transition away from passwords will be a journey, and we look forward to working with developers on the passwordless future. 
we continue to improve Metal. It's the software that powers hardware accelerated graphics on all our platforms. And now, Metal 3 brings new features that will unleash the full potential of Apple Silicon for years to come. Gaming at maximum resolution and quality looks awesome. And to help game developers increase the performance of realistic and immersive graphics, we're introducing Metal Effects Upscaling, which enables developers to render rich, visually complex scenes even faster. No Man's Sky, coming to Mac later this year, will be one of the first games to use Metal Effects Upscaling. The frame rate increases, giving you that responsive feel, and it looks beautiful. Another area we're improving is game loading. So Metal 3 adds a new fast resource loading API that minimizes wait time by providing a more direct path from the storage to the unified memory system, so the GPU can more quickly access high quality textures and buffers without waiting. And today, we're extending handoff to FaceTime. Now picture this. You answer a FaceTime call on your iPhone while you're away from your desk. When you get home and bring your iPhone up close to your Mac, your Mac automatically recognizes the call on your iPhone, and you can move it to your Mac seamlessly, giving you a bigger view to continue the conversation. You can hand off calls in any direction between your devices, so you'll always be able to join the call from the right one. And now, with Continuity Camera, you can use iPhone as your webcam. Now, I'm just gonna pop this stand on my iPhone and attach it to my display. Let's launch FaceTime. Hi, Craig. Hey, Johnny. Sure, I'm using it right now with my iPhone and Pro Display XDR. You know, one thing I love about Continuity Camera is center stage. I can move around and center stage will keep me in the frame. Portrait mode to blur the background with that beautiful bokeh. Yeah, I've loved having these features on my iPad and it's great that we can now use them with any Mac. For sure. A new one people are gonna love is Studio Light. Check this out. It brightens my face and darkens the background. Desk view. You can see the work that's on my desk and it keeps me in the picture. Take a look. It looks like I have a dedicated overhead camera, but this is desk view creating both of these views from the one ultra wide camera on my iPhone using some very powerful image processing. I didn't even need to adjust my phone. You can use continuity camera with any macOS video conferencing app like Zoom, Teams, WebEx, and more. And we're working with Belkin to offer beautiful stands to hold your iPhone at the perfect height and angle. These will be available later this year. And that's macOS Ventura a feature pack release that brings new tools for managing windows, smart new features for mail, Safari, and games, and magical new continuity features.